Thank you. The mother of a Southwick Regional High School student met with the school superintendent today amid an investigation into claims her daughter, who is black, was subjected to derogatory comments and an online slave auction. Western Mass News reporter Reagan Logri joins us live in studio with what she's learned so far. Reagan? Chris and Abby, following today's meeting, the superintendent released a statement about these recent allegations saying although the events occurred outside of school hours, they've undoubtedly impacted the Southwick school community. Allison Lopez, speaking with Western Mass News this week, says her daughter has experienced racial bullying as a black student at Southwick Regional High School. She says her daughter faced derogatory comments and was included in an online slave auction where white students bid on black classmates. I'm hurt. I'm hurt to know that I sent her in an environment where I thought she was going to be safe. I sent her in an environment where I thought people was going to protect her, look out for her. Um, and they did not. On Thursday, Lopez met with Southwick Regional School Superintendent Jennifer Willard, who announced on Tuesday that an investigation into the claims had been completed. An investigation that Lopez tells us did not include her daughter. My daughter has not been investigated. They have not spoken to my daughter. Superintendent Willard provided us with a statement following their meeting that reads in part, quote, We understand the concerns and unease these events may have caused among our students, staff and families. Please know that Southwick Tallinn Granville Regional School District is actively engaged in addressing these matters. We believe that open communication and education are paramount in addressing challenges and cultivating a safe and supportive environment for all. In light of this, we will be organizing a special assembly for students upon their return to school. Superintendent Willard goes on to say that this assembly on Monday that will take place when students return from February break will serve as a forum for open dialogue, support, and guidance on navigating challenging situations both inside and outside of school. Currently, there is a petition calling for the resignation of Superintendent Willard and Principal Serena Shorter, circulating online with a goal to receive 1,000 signatures. So far, they have received 648. We have asked both Willard and Shorter for comment on the petition, but have not yet heard back. Meanwhile, Allison Lopez tells us she is not happy with the outcome of today's meeting. She writes in a statement in part, quote, Despite my hopes for meaningful change, today's meeting with the administrators of the Southwick, Tolland and Granville School District has left me profoundly disillusioned. The statement goes on to say, I am also left with the sobering realization that the current avenues for redress within the school district may not be sufficient to address the magnitude of this issue. Therefore, I am com compelled to explore alternative avenues to seek justice and ensure accountability for those responsible. Now, coming up tonight at 6, I speak exclusively with another Southwick mom who claims she had to pull her son out of the district back in 2021 due to extreme cases of bullying. Reporting live in studio, Reagan Lokri for Western Mass News.